Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scott Alicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. Give me my time. Give me, give me my time. And today we are going to be talking about the denim of the damned or damn the denim as it seems almost every single luxury brand under God's sun is releasing denim collections and I find it a little weird not only is there just like this massive push for denim all of a sudden but I feel I really don't feel like it's catching on and if it hasn't caught on yet I think it's time we stop beating this dead horse. But before we hop into my honest thoughts and opinions on the denim craze or supposed denim craze if you guys love handbags, hauls, luxury, the whole lot of those please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoy today's video and it helps with that YouTube Al go rhythm. If they could see me now, that little gang of mine, I'm eating fancy food and drinking fancy wine. I now y'all know exactly what time it is. It's time to get Percy here in the house of Scottalicious McFabulous with the denim. Damn the denim. That is all I really have to say on the subject at hand. Just kidding, I have a lot to say. But first off, where the hell did this damn denim craze come from? Because if we like go back the last few years, the only brand to be really pushing denim that heavily was Coach. And we know that because I love Coach the most out of all of these luxury brands, I know that they actually had like seven or eight different denim collection drops within just the last like two to three years max. And the fact that it didn't catch on the first two, three collections, I think it's time to like put it away for a little while. Like, you know what I mean? But all of a sudden, this season, it seems every brand, and I mean every single brand under the sun, is just releasing a massive collection of denim bags. And most of them, mama, are hot garbage. Oh my god. What a waste of denim. I love denim. Please do not get me wrong, ma'am. I love denim. Duh hello i am wearing denim i love denim i have a collection of denim but not in handbags absolutely not i feel like once you have one denim handbag you don't need any others because they're all the exact same fucking thing like girl <laughs> like it is so boring like i'm so sorry but like once one brand did the pocket then like it you know, where do you go from there besides just the same exact fabric plastered over Marc Jacobs, Coach, freaking all of them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, even Louis Vuitton. Like, I know Louis Vuitton kind of, I want to say Louis Vuitton kind of jump-started the trickle effect of all the other brands releasing denim, but we do know that... I at least I think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, please. Like, I'm, <laughs> I might be talking on my ass here, but I definitely feel like Coach started it. Like, they really pushed denim for a couple years, and now all of a sudden, all of the brands, just because Louis Vuitton released one collection, now we have, every brand has a collection, and it's very, very tiresome. You'll see, this horse will be a fine addition to our family. You know what? I don't want him to feel self-conscious. Everybody pee. Pee now, wait. Everybody pee now. We're an unusual family. Like with the Tory Burch monogram denim collection, it's the same as the Louis Vuitton denim collection, like the monogram printing. It's the same as the Coach monogram printing. It's the same as the Kate Spade 
monogram printing. Like, I know each brand wants to have their own, like, you know, monogram print, whatever, whatever. But, like, we don't all need the same denim with the same, like, it, it's all essentially the same print. It's just with a different logo. And I think that's what's making it so tiresome. It's like nobody's actually trying something different. But on the topic of trying something different, I did notice a couple different brands, Coach included, that did try to elevate the denim craze, if you will. Coach, they released the quilted denim on top of, you know, the plain, the plain boring denim that they've released three times throughout the last three years. So I like that they tried something different with the quilted denim, but they're being very stingy with the quilted denim. Like two bags have the quilted denim and a card case. And then it, none of them are even available in Canada. You know what I mean? So it's kind of annoying that Coach didn't even like really hit the mark they just released like the quilted tabby and i'm like okay like i again i get it but it's really annoying that that wasn't released in different styles because that would have really set them apart from not only what they already have done in the past but what everybody else around them is doing because everybody else is doing the monogram print and we've seen the monogram print done out the ass and like I'm serious like this dead horse could not be rotting any further when I say the horse has been beaten I mean like the horse is the horse corpse is rotted it is rotting it has become fertilizer for the soil like we need to move on we need to move on but again there's a couple brands livening up and for the last brand I do want to talk about that I do feel like is actually doing something exciting with it is Givenchy and Givenchy is actually or Givenchy whatever you want to call it Givenchy is actually doing something a little interesting I think like I don't think it's necessarily brand new um I do feel like Machino has done something like this but the mini Antigona lock bag in jeans even though it's a whopping four thousand dollars Canadian like over my dead body ma'am I'm not I'm not even looking at it but the style is mint. The style is sickening. I actually really like this. This is what I want to see. I want to see innovation, mama. I want to see different. And I'm sure this is a take on something another brand has done like 20 years ago or something. Like, we know, rinse and repeat. But I just like to see that it's different. I like to see the extra mile, the extra added thought into it. And then right beside it is the medium voyo the Voyou boyfriend bag in jeans, also like a whopping $4,450 Canadian, an insane price tag that I would never think of spending on for like a denim bag, but I like this one. This one is really cool. The boyfriend jeans. It's literally like a pair of jeans and like they're unbuttoned. I love it. The gay boy in me loves it. I think that is sexy. I think that's hot. And I love to see it. Like, I really do. I wouldn't mind actually having this in my collection. It's just, it's not, mm. I mean, if it was 450, not 4,450. But with all of that being said, what are your honest thoughts and opinions on the new denim collections from all the brands? Do you have a favorite? Do you think the ones that I picked out were the most interesting? How many denim bags do you own? Do you even have one? Do you plan on buying one? Um, that kind of stuff. Anyways, I'm going to quickly, while you're typing all that stuff in the comment section below, I'm going to hop into my outfit of the day and kitty delicious moment of the day. I'm 99. Don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people. 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 Nine thousand or nine nine hundred ninety nine. There can be a hundred people. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's denim video. Damn the denim, because sweetie, I am over it. I am so over it. Like, I love denim. I love my denim jeans, my den den denim jackets. But I do not love denim handbags. I'm bored. I'm tired. Let's move on to the next popular thing. <laughs> 
Anyways, again, what's your thoughts and what are your opinions? And without further ado, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please hit the subscribe button. If you are new, hit that like button, share with your friends or family, comment me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's outfit of the day, kitty licious moment of the day, or damn the denim video. As well, you can always support me and the channel directly by sending me a very generous super thanks donation. And you can check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the absolute moon and back. And I'll see you all in my next video. Uh, bye! <laughs> I think it was good. I don't, I don't know. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's over. See you next Taco Tuesday, bitch. <laughs>